Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Trinelle and this is my Valentine's Day vlog, Valentine's Day 2024. Right now I'm out with hubby here, Michael, and we're just gonna do some chill stuff for Valentine's Day this year. I really just wanted to run a few errands slash prepare for the baby. So our first stop for the day is Bye Bye Baby. I've never been to the store before and honestly, I think they closed down for a time, but now now they're back open yeah, so we took a trip from new york to new jersey to see some baby stuff in person because right now we're building our registry preparing for the baby shower all that good stuff come with us to bye bye baby let's do it <laughs> So I was recording for TikTok and YouTube, so some of these clips will be vertical. But this is just me and hubby entering Bye Bye Baby. I was just so excited. The store was actually quite large. They had a wide selection of baby things, but we were mainly looking at strollers. They had a lot of strollers, and these right here were the travel systems. Okay, so I think this is the stroller that I've been eyeing. It's the Even Flow, Even Flow Expand Modular Travel System. Yes, it's pricey, but I believe it comes with the car seat bassinet. It can be reversed. Yeah, I think it comes with one of these as well. Or is that the same thing? Not sure. I didn't get a feel for them because I've never pushed a stroller before. Well, maybe I have in my life, but never for real, for real, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try it now. I didn't get any footage of me pushing the stroller, but I do have my husband trying out the Graco Modes Nest to Grow stroller. We actually like this one a lot. It wasn't top of our list before, but definitely is now that we visited the store. After this, we tried out the car seat to get a feel of how heavy it was. Not gonna lie, it was heavy, but we realized that it was heavy because it still had the base attached. That's the part that goes into the, uh, yeah. Maybe we should ask for help, guys. <laughs> we ain't never done this. It's so exciting, though. This right here is the Upper Baby Vista. It is such a cute stroller, but very expensive. It's $1,000 and doesn't come with a car seat. These are the two strollers that we're deciding between. For our registry, this is the Even Flow. I'll put the full name, I don't actually remember. And then this one is the Greco Nest Modes Nest 2 or Nest to Grow. They both come with similar things, bassinet, car seat, which is what's on both of them now and they are both double strollers and it comes with a toddler seat which looks well this is the bassinet but it comes with a toddler seat yeah this is the one for the greco and the even flow one is here so that's the ones that we like so far michael is looking at the upper baby which upper baby is nice i ain't gonna hold you it's nice but it's thousand dollars <laughs> Before we left Bye Bye Baby, we went to browse and look at some other things. These are swings. We also looked at cribs. We just tried to get a feel for what the store offered. All right, this is the type of crib that I would like for a baby. Not this exact one, but something like this versus the ones that have the headboards. So yeah, I'm not feeling those. We're about to head out. It was such a good time here at Bye Bye Baby. The sales lady who helped us, super helpful. And we looked at a lot of strollers. It's time for the second part of this Valentine's Day celebration. At Applebee's now for a quick bite before we watch a movie. So yeah, that's what we're about to do. We both like to get the Impossible Cheeseburger, but Michael is vegan, so he's about to get it with no cheese. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Quick bite, our movie's in less than an hour, so really quick bite, and then we'll watch it. We only had 40 minutes before our movie started, so getting burgers and fries at Applebee's was like the perfect quick bite. Then we went to see One Love, the Bob Marley movie. 
Hey guys, I am back home after a lovely day out for Valentine's Day and I just wanted to close out the vlog with my thoughts on the movie. We saw One Love Bob Marley movie and honestly, it was okay. I would say that it is a biopic, which I know is obvious, but more so it is really about his later years in life, like literally like the years right before his death and i didn't know that going in i honestly thought it was going to be more of like a origin story or like full life from birth to death story about bob marley but it really wasn't to me i feel like you had to know some context about his life prior to the end of his life to fully understand some of the things that appeared in the movie i did know a few things about his life other little details need a little bit more context like there was a scene with him arguing with his wife that I didn't really understand like, why they were arguing in general I think it's worth a watch not necessarily that it had to be watched in a movie theater personally speaking I think I would catch it on Netflix not that the acting wasn't well I actually commend the actor who played Bob who really is British in real life I thought I would cringe when he spoke as a Jamaican but to me it was good it sounded believable I really feel like he envisioned and enacted Bob well some other people in the film not so much with their accents but the acting in general was good and I think from what they portrayed in the film it was good but again I just was expecting more like me and my husband just felt like that's it the movie was like two and a half hours and we still just felt like it wasn't much and then I would say if you did know a lot about Bob Marley then this film also kind of wasn't the best in that there wasn't much else to learn that was new either so like both sides are true i feel like you still need to know something about him to understand this film because it's about his later years but i also feel like if you did know a lot about him then this film was kind of just a cool portrayal of his last years i don't know I don't know. Guys, watch it, support, big up the Jamaicans, big up the Marlies. Like, go ahead and, and watch the film. It is a good film for what it's worth. I would still love a full biopic. I would still like to know how he became the Bob Marley. They didn't touch on that. And that is a film that I would watch. So hopefully his family decides to do like almost like a prequel to this movie. Because this movie is definitely like third <laughs> in the series if they were to make a series on his life. But other than that, I had a great Valentine's Day. I'm home now. It is quite early, just 8 o'clock. We were out since about 1.32. So we're going to wind down and get ready for work, school, life tomorrow. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this pregnant Valentine's Day vlog. I really appreciate it. If you like this content, subscribe. And if you like this video, go ahead and like it. And I will see you in my next video. See you in the next video, guys. See you. Bye.